In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to model a soccer ball or football depending on where you live. We are going to start off by using the soccer ball polygon primitive. So that will get most of the work done for you. We are going to assign it with a white blend. So I am on the rendering shelf and I just click the blend icon while I have my soccer ball selected. We will automatically assign the blend to that model. And the blend will open up in the attributes editor. I am going to set the color to white. Now that will be the color that's inside our hexagons. Now, now what we want to do is we want to select all our pentagons and color them black. So I right click and go to face mode and select all the pentagons. This will take a while so I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, now I have all the pentagons selected. I'm just going to assign them with a black blend. The same way I assigned the object sphere, I mean the soccer ball, with the white blend and this color will be black. Now right now it doesn't look too much like a soccer ball, it's just a little too jagged. So I'm going to smooth it. I'm going to mesh, smooth, and all you want to make sure all your settings look just like this, and then click smooth. So now it's looking a bit more like a soccer ball, but the hexagons and pentagons aren't very well defined, except for the color. We can fix that by extruding them out. So we're going to start off by extruding all of our black pentagons. To do that, quickly, we're going to go to Window, Rendering Editor's Hypershade, and since all our pentagons are assigned with the black blend, we can just right click on our black blend and go to the option Select Objects with Material. Now it's automatically selected all the faces that have the black blend on them, and now we can just go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. In the attributes editor, I want to set the distance I want to extrude out. That should be about 0 0.02. That's assuming I'm using the default soccer ball size. And we can't do the exact same thing with the white hexagons because since they border each other, you won't be able to see definition between, between them. So to fix that, we're going to select the center vortex of every one, then select the faces around it, and extrude them individually so that doesn't happen. So I just went to vortex mode, I selected the center vortex, and now I'm going to convert this to face. Now that it's now it's converted my selection to faces, I right click and go to face mode and click extrude. And in the attributes editor I set the distance to the exact same distance we used previously on the black pentagons. Now we just repeat this for all the hexagons. You can speed this up by using shortcuts like Control 11. That will automatically convert your vortex to faces. Then right click and select face mode and click extrude. Set the value and do this 20 times. I'm just going to pause and finish this. Okay, now I've completed all the extrusions. Now all that's left is to smooth it one more time. So we're going to Mesh, Smooth, we're opening the options and setting the division levels to 2. That's twice what we used previously, and click Smooth. There we go. Now, now it looks like a soccer ball. You can just use the Move tool to drag it above the grid. And Delete History, freeze the transformations, and we're done. There's a 3D model of a soccer ball. Thanks for watching this.